uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones, phone, right? What are you, poor? You don't own an $800 phone to play our awesome mobile game developed by another company that's going to load it up with microtransactions? Fuck the PC. I haven't seen tone deafness like this since the Xbox One launch, where they were actually telling people, well, if you're too poor to afford always online internet, just play on the 360, dirty peasant. We don't want you on our console. Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360, that's your message if you don't, well, if you don't it, like it. It's it, really awesome way to address the community. Worked out well for Xbone. They didn't have to walk all of those features back that pissed off the community and looked like total asshats as Sony took advantage of the situation to undercut them. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. But good old Blizzard decided they wanted to one-up Microsoft. We can do better. We're going to take that crown from you. Move over, Star Wars Battlefront 2. EA, sit down. Watch how a professional shoots himself in the foot. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the Diablo Immortal cinematic trailer up on the Diablo YouTube page. And at the time of recording this, if you were to go over and look at it, you would see 1.6 million views with 10,000 upvotes and 232,000 downvotes. You'd also see a grand total of 36,000 comments. Now, a lot of people have been saying some suspicious things have been going on. Comments are being removed. The vote doesn't seem to be accurate. Some have speculated that this is because they're removing the video and then re-uploading it. But no, that's not true at all. If you'd like to see what's really happening, it's as simple as taking a quick gander at some archive pages and Social Blade. Fun fact about manipulating ratings and comments on YouTube, Google may allow a company to do it. They may even participate in it happening, but Social Blade will record it nonetheless. So if we go to look at Social Blade, what numbers are they going to show us, I wonder? Well, when you go under the Diablo page on Social Blade and you look under user videos, the first entry listed is the Diablo Immortal Cinematic Trailer. And look at that, 1.6 million views. But uh-oh, some of these numbers seem to be a bit different. The total ratings are listed at 344,000 votes. The total comments are listed at 49,000 comments. That would mean that they've deleted over 14,000 comments and well over 110,000 ratings. Now, some of you skeptics out there might say, well, maybe Social Blade got it wrong. Maybe there's a glitch in the system. It's some kind of a weird bug. It's not really a direct action, but Social Blade just has the wrong numbers they're displaying. Well, that's what direct caches from Archiver for then. Not only does this verify what Social Blade states as their total numbers listed, but it also proves that Blizzard, that Diablo, are not pulling the video down and re-uploading new ones. It has the same URL from the very first date of upload until now. And if you were to look through each of these snapshots from November 2nd when the video went up until just over an hour ago, you will see the number of comments and the number of ratings repeatedly fluctuate. Now the upvotes never get tampered with. They just continually go up, but the downvotes are instantly cut. You'll see drops of 10,000, 20,000, maybe even 40,000 repeatedly happening between each of the screenshots. And when you take the resources of these two separate websites and combine them together, it helps to pretty much paint a clear picture. Blizzard is doing massive damage control for a product announcement nobody wanted. And they are somehow in cahoots with YouTube or Google or somebody working there to remove any negative feedback affecting that product. They are not interested in what you think of their product as a consumer. They don't care about your feedback. They don't care about your votes. They don't care about your comments. None of that matters to them. They want to shill a terrible mobile game that is from a PC gaming legacy. People don't like it. They don't give a shit. Your opinion does not matter to this company. So much so that they will manipulate numbers to try to give people a more favorable impression of the reception it is receiving. Well done, Blizzard. I like the new motto your company's going with. Fuck the consumer, pay us money.